Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing very well today. As you saw in the thumbnail, today I'm gonna to try to install one of the most unique and interesting trim systems I have ever seen. I mean, this thing just looks unlike any trim system I've ever put on a guitar. And if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you know I've probably uh, done, I don't know, eight to 10 different uh, trim systems for strats and that kind of thing. Uh, this one's definitely a little different. These are all springs. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, yeah, find out, number one, what this is. We're going to try to install it here on my telly. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. It is um, fully removable without modding your guitar. So if you install it and then it, down the road you want to sell your guitar or whatever, you can pull the trim system off, put the stock hardware on, and it looks uh, exactly perfect. What I'm going to do is remove the strings off the telly, uh, pull the bridge off, and then we'll jump in and start the install. All right, you guys, so I've pulled the strings off the telly. I've loosened up the four screws that hold down the bridge plate and loosened up the pickup. Uh, we'll hop over to the desk and take a look at that in a second. But here, here are the three pieces to this system. Obviously, Piece number one, the bridge plate. Uh, some nice compensated brass saddles, I've got to say there as well. And then you can also see the screw in arm. And of course, our little springs there. Uh, here's a clue as to what system it is. See if the camera will grab that. VT, any guesses? I've used these guys before. And the third piece of the puzzle is the new plate. And as I mentioned, it is uh, easily removable and it's not a permanent mod. So VT is Vega Trim. Yes, one of my favorite Stratocaster trim systems. Uh, they just released this new system. Looks crazy. Uh, we're just going to go, you know, totally unprompted, install this thing, see how it goes. And then of course, if all goes well, we'll do some playing and test it out. But let's hop over to the desk and talk installation. Right. So with the strings off, uh, the bridge comes off very, very easily. You just loosen your three screws holding the pickup on, and then there's four screws that anchor it into the body, uh, as you can see right there. So super easy, just grab a screwdriver, pull those four screws out, loosen up your uh, pickup selectors, and of course we are going to be using the same pickup. So grab your springs and whatever else, because of course, yes, we will be reusing all these parts. And if you have a ground wire, just be careful of it, make note of it. Um, sometimes just a piece of tape, like painter's tape over there, just so it doesn't get uh, wrecked or whatever is a good idea. Um, but yeah, bear in mind that that, uh, that ground wire is important. Okay, so let's start with the new system. Now, there's a couple different ones. There's the vintage one, which is for the smaller plates. So, you know, if you have a fender with the longer bridge plate here, um, you're going to need the longer system. Since this is a vintage one, you can see same exact size. So that is important because as you guys can see, check it out. It gets installed using the same exact holes from the bridge. So what we're going to do is take our pickup and of course use the same hardware, install our pickup, and then this sucker just gets anchored like so. So that is perfect. That's kind of like the stage one of the system. Right. Now the next part of the install is to actually remove the string ferrules. And you can see here, I've removed five of the six. Um, I've had guitars where you remove the strings and the ferrules are so loose, they just basically come out by hand. Um, if they stick out a bit, you could maybe use a pliers if you're really careful. Um, these ones are flush mounted, so a little bit trickier. So what I've done is I've taken an adjuster bar. This is from a guitar with the truss rod um, the spoke wheel truss rod adjuster right there. They all come with these little bars so that you can stick it in and you know make your neck adjustments. Really handy. Uh, this has been working perfectly for me. So I'll do the sixth string together here. So I've just been putting it in the string hole like this and then probably like a rubber mallet. I couldn't find mine so I just have like a tiny little tack hammer. And then you just hammer through and it's just popped out. So there you go works perfectly and then it should go back in pretty easy as well. So that's the next step. Um, pretty interesting. I've never had to do that for a trim install, but there's a reason for it. Uh, let's jump back over to the desk. All right, we're ready for the next step. I would recommend uh, taking all your old hardware that you removed from the guitar, put it in a Ziploc. And if you do regular mods, maybe just take a Sharpie and write down which guitar it's from. Um, that way uh, all your parts uh, can stay together and then you can just uh, file them away. Okay, so next step is to actually remove 
all the adjusters off the springs. So what I'm going to do is remove all of these ends. You can see I've done one already. Oops, let's hang on to those. So yes, I will unscrew all of those and then we're just left with kind of some threaded ends on those springs and I'll be back. Well, you guys, we're pretty much wrapping up the install. The next step is to take our springs and put them down the individual string holes, such as this. See if I can do that. It's a little tricky. There we go. Wiggle them in. Boom. <laughs> there it is. Now, one problem I ran into, there it is. Man, that looks slick. And then, of course, your bar with the Vega Tram logo. We'll get it all set up here. But anyway, um, one problem I did have because this is not an official fender body and the holes here were all kind of painted in when they painted the body, it was all glooped in. So I actually took a drill and just cleaned out those holes, each one of them. Now with a, an official fender body, that might not be an issue at all. So once I widen those holes, then like I showed you guys before, each one of the springs goes down the string holes there and then you can just kind of give it a little wiggle with just a slight word, slight downward pressure and then there's two little blades that will I'm just going to tip that up and engage them right now into the plate there we go and I'll take a close up for you guys so yes there are two little blades that this is going to pivot on uh, so I just tip that up engage that and uh, there we go. Now the next step is on the back side where we remove the string ferrules. And what we're going to do is, if you remember the parts I unscrewed from those string, uh, the springs, um, those will each go back into the string ferrule um, and then get threaded in and locked down. All right, so I've added the adjusters in place of the string ferrules. That's what that looks like right there. Really cool. Each one of those can be adjusted um, if you need to obviously adjust the tension on the trim. If you want it decked, if you want it kind of floating, if you're using nine gauge strings, if you're using tens, uh, you can adjust all that there. And then yes, here's what the front looks like. I've got the bar in there. Uh, it just looks awesome. Yeah, really, really cool. So I'm going to string this up and yeah, let's listen to some tones. Um, as I said, compensated saddle. So obviously I'll set that up to uh, in terms of the heights, it comes with all the adjusters like uh, Allen wrenches and that kind of stuff. So there you go. <laughs> really cool. Very like out of the box thinking. I would never think of, a, you know, a tele system that could just go straight on, could go back to stock, um, but looks like really cool and vintagey on the bar and stuff like that. Um, but I have a feeling it's not going to be as finicky as say something like a Bigsby, which I do love. I love a Bigsby, but uh, I have a feeling knowing Vega trim and having used their systems before with the blades, uh, I got high hopes for this. I think it's going to be way less maintenance and have uh, a much better return to center, uh, but time will tell. So let's string it up. I'll be back and then let's listen to some tones. Well, it's time to try out the Vega trim for the first time. They did a really good job keeping it super clean. You know, if the bar wasn't in there, it would almost look stock. And that's very different than say a Bigsby where it's a big piece of hardware on the back of the guitar. Not everybody likes that, or maybe they don't want to, uh, you know, drill the mounting holes into their guitar. They don't want the extra weight, whatever the case may be. Uh, yeah, this is just very different. And of course the strings are top loaded now because the springs are going through the back of the guitar. So the strings get top loaded. So here we go. Let's see how that bar handles. Yeah, so in terms of how it handles, much more like a Bigsby than I was initially expecting. You know, with the Vega Trem Strat system, it's all about like extreme ar ar articulation, like bombing down, pulling up, and always coming back to zero. This is a much more subtle system for a T style guitar. So, yeah. <laughs>
So here are my initial thoughts on the Vega Trim T-Style setup. Now, as I mentioned, this is very different than the Strat setup, which is an extreme bending up and down and everywhere and always coming back to zero. This is much more, you know, just those subtleties, just that little warble on your string. Um, so yeah, it's a very different setup, but the design and how somebody came up with the system to put, you know, individual springs down the string holes and put adjusters at the back, <laughs> like just crazy, crazy out of the box thinking. And in terms of how I adjusted this, I just used a screwdriver and made the tension on each one equal. And that's, you know, that was my starting point. Um, and that's pretty much where I left it. So I know you can loosen it, tighten it. Um, my only gripe, well, yeah or recommendation is I'd love an extended bar just for that extra leverage and control. That's really the only thing because this is pretty much a strat, um, strat length bar. So I wouldn't mind like, yeah, an extended one or at least an option of an extended one. But the design, crazy, uh, definitely works. And in terms of like, you know, I, I haven't uh, tuned it up since I played for you guys. It's still in tune. Uh, it's going to be a week or two like all trem systems before everything just really breaks in together. Um, and I think it's going to hold tune even better. So I've got really high hopes in terms of tuning on this. So yeah, design really cool. Out of the box thinking holds tune. Pretty cool. Thanks so much for watching you guys. As you know, I love to feature products like this that are just a little different. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Other than that, have yourself a great week. Take care.